that was a that was a rap that rapper walked so everyone else could run. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, here uh, BG Cosmos and Rory. He did stay in SoCal for a little while. Uh, he's in here for a week. Yeah, now. he's been here for a week. He did lose to Nico over at um, Hat. Hat, and then he ended up getting the run back on him at WNF. Same week, so we'll see how hot Cosmos can do against Rivers. Yeah, Cosmos went to like every local. He went to MSM, Hat, WNF, went to UCI local. He's going places. I respect him, man. The grind never stops. If you're one, one in row, man, do as the Romans. Go to locals. <laughs> Hit up your locals. Anyway, so we're going to be getting Prom versus Inkling. Both these characters are uh, annoying. <laughs> well, think, think about here, too, for, like, they're both really fast, really great aerials. Took 80% off good, of one job. Great, great combos and great conversions all around. So the thing here about Rivers, too, is he's going to have to also understand, like, he has the speed, he has the damage, the disjoint, enough to actually keep up with Inkling. The Cosmos here is how much is he able to actually maneuver around Rivers, because look at the way he tries to come back on the stage. Rivers immediately stops this man from even touching the ground. Rivers Once is, again, yeah. Rivers is so scary on the ledge. He's able to just react and ledge guard you so hard. It's that back here, though. Oh, man, no shield. Watch yourself. Oh man, what what a mix on that here. I don't know, that was like, that was baby's first bait. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was baby's first bait, man. And if a tree falls in the woods, man, does it make a sound? Come on, bro, you gotta, you gotta be ready for those. Dash Jack oh, missed opportunity. Great. That was so good that it crossed up too, because that would have been an easy jab back there for uh, mm. Reverend Speak yeah, man, of the Devil. Man, you curse this man. Full jab. Soul and Ink. Rivers is probably looking for a conversion right now. Probably wants a falling up there, but Cos is being so slippery. And that's uh, that's just the nature of Inkling. Yeah. All right, Rivers gets back, gets hit by a dash attack, comes back on the stage. Look at the reverse. He immediately that's strikes right. back into Cosmos. But Cosmos finishes off Rivers off the top from that top part of the Who and a Ha coming in. Only 20% on Cosmos. Nice, great use of dash attack. Sorry, dash dancing. And the reason why, too, with Inkling is you do get that low profile that you can kind of avoid a lot of, like, you know, getting hit by Oh, my oh, God. Like, excuse me, sir. That was baby second bait, too. Like, what's happening? I'm at, hit? My man getting hit by everything. Um, yeah, like you're saying, Inkling's dash is uh, broken neutral. Low profiles. It's able to just yeah. whip everything. And especially if you uh, like dash dance and then dash grab, it's like almost impossible to hit him sometimes. Or her. Um, it. Costas was such a big lead at 84%, man. River swings a sword, but I hit nothing but a swing and a miss. Fully tainted right now. That means uh, I can only assume that up throw up air is probably going to kill now. He tried to cross him up, but that, like you said, man, that up throw up air that'll steal the deal. Cosmos going up game one for Rivers. Rivers here, man, he had it kind of down in the beginning, right? He had the opportunities to kind of come back, you know, reverse the roles, bring things to an even game, but unfortunately, just not able to close it out. Cosmos, and that man's out here for blood, man. I know a lot of people have been talking about how Cosmos has fallen from grace. He's washed. He's not good, man. Don't ever sleep on the kid. I don't think uh, Cosmos is washed, but I think people are expecting to do what he did with Corrin in Smash 4. He's yeah. like, let's rise to that level. And Corrin was a different kind of broken. Yeah, Corrin is a different character from a different game at this point, right? And you think about how Cosmos is inkling here. He's kind of show, showcasing, you know what, what I can still do. I still have the name to myself. Down to the Rivers using Crom's great aerial drift to get grab on the ledge. Doesn't go for the up because he knows, you know what, I can probably get stopped. Actually, a lot of the times where we saw Rivers, he wasn't really going for upbeat to recover. Uh -huh. That's what you have to do, too. You have to make sure you mix it up with Prom, because that's probably the weakest part about him, is the fact that he, uh, his up B doesn't, his up B is really easy to exploit, because it doesn't have that much armor. Yeah. Oh, down smash. Caught this man trying to land on the plot on the stage, but that forward A is going to finish off Rivers. Yeah, really. Great forward A, great trade for Cosmos. Going to take that first stock now. Up throw, up very nice. These early percents, man, that means a combo, but not a kill. Yeah, right now, Rivers is probably going to be looking for a uh, jab conversion or near one. Okay, man, watch the Super Soaker. That thing is a kid's toy, but it's actually doing a lot of damage to Rivers. Oh, it gets the, uh, the sliding F build, yeah. Cool parry, bud. Um. 
Wow, you see he little he did the down tilt, but Inkling just kinda went over it. Exactly. Went under it at this point, right? Inkling's yeah. low profile is just pretty ridiculous. Well, Cosmos had a different kind of patience there. Nice, goes for down smash. Rivers was empty hopping, jabbing him, F tilting him, and he just didn't care. I feel like it's gonna be so difficult for Rivers to try to get any of these Nair 1 combos. Because Nair 1 F smash kills so early, but Inkling is always uh, running around dash dancing. It's gonna be so difficult for him to lock him down. Nice, Mr. Grab comes right back in with the back air and puts his man off the stage. No a Seko on that man's got no jump and he's got no hope. Man, he even exits the screen right. He's like, you know what, I'm gonna do it to myself. You got this, you got this. Yeah. Hey, I'm bro. gonna do it to myself, man, before you make it worse. Hey, bro, chill. Hey, bro, chill. <laughs> Now Cosmos up 2-0 against Rivers. This is not looking good. Kind of figured out the way that Rivers plays. Yo, Vance, which one did we end up deciding was the worst candy at this table? M&M's? To me, it's Snickers right now. Snickers are like C tier. And then they S tier when you actually put them in the freezer. OK, that's fair. Uh, also, we have a switch over to Diddy Kong. Another character that's uh, been talked about, people saying Diddy isn't that good, and all that stuff. Diddy did get buffs a couple patches ago, and so now he, he still has some things. His banana is transcendent, which is uh, not okay. Yeah, and, and even then, Shoyo James' history as a player kind of goes back to Diddy, right? He was originally a Diddy man, but now an ultimate, right? Diddy kind of was not in a position he favored. He went over to Crom, but now he's still, you know, kind of keeping that muscle memory alive. What's, uh, what's great about this is, like, this is really just old versus new. People are calling Inkling, uh, you know, the new Diddy. So it's really new versus old in uh, some way. The thing, thing about, though, is like Inkling has a better side B than Diddy does. Uh, back, back, no. a back a Smash 4, man. Diddy's lived and died by side B. I, I, no, I think Diddy's, I think Monk's is better man, than Roller. Remember that Evo where Zero did that side B? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, and he lost? Exactly. Yeah. Case in point. That was his fault. Case in point, man. They live and die by that side B. It's still in the really prevalent in this game. I'm not going to lie to you. No one asked him to up B there or to side B there. No one asked her to do that. He wasn't trying to get hit by anything from Bayo. You know what happened after? <laughs> Anyways, getting back. Salem, Salem won Evo, man. $7,000 Diddy side B, man. All right. Well, anyways, Shoyo James not going to be the one using those side Bs. So far, he's keeping it pretty even here. 110%, only 20% separating the both. Only needs really one down tilt to really take away this stock or a banana conversion, but right now, Cosmos does have control of the banana. Remember, he's looking to keep it slow and calm here, but he gets the up B. Throw it in, that's not going to be enough. Watch the recovery, finally able to get a side B here and comes back on the stage. Kind of gives Cosmos the feet. That's going to be it, though. Yep. That's so dangerous in the corner. Monk Diddy, monkey flips. And it's just, it's a 50-50, but it's not really because there's just so much that you can lose. Oh. It's damage. 41% already. You speak about damage, man. Those barrels, they hurt a lot. Pull uh, disappeared. But barrels trying to hit Cosmos for that extra credit damage before he comes back in. Wait. Oh, he missed the opportunity here. Okay, I was definitely popping off for a second. Right, so right now, Rivers does have a pretty good control of this match. Needs to make sure Cosmos does not get in. Back throw, nice. Sets up the, sets up, oh, I was gonna say the banana actually hit the ledge. It's would've been good for ledge trapping, but unfortunately, Rivers did not get that opportunity here. Both of the banana re-grab. <laughs> He's playing it pretty safe, and the thing here about Rivers, too, is that he knows I don't want to overcommit or overextend here because once I do, Cosmos can definitely get the better of me. 65% to 123, man. If I were if I were Rivers, man, I'd be looking at Cosmos and telling me, like, hold the phone, fam. I got you for three more games, and that's what you're going to get. Oh, oh that so bomb brings him right back. Unfortunate. I mean, not for Rivers. Give me that. I'm playing that. What a great up smash call out. We haven't seen Rivers do that once now. Gonna take that second stock. And the thing is too, he hasn't been punishing back air. It is pretty safe on shield, but he hasn't found anything to punish him. Now he finally had an answer. Cosmos using that little bit of a, kind of a fear factor to fake out the back air critical for a grab. Dash, dash attack. attack. You know, dash attack really good in this game. It's able to combo to so many things. Yeah, Rivers has slowly brought this back even stocks. Virtually almost the same percent. 
Nice try to sneak in the back air. Rivers chooses the other side, trying to come back. But I mentioned it earlier, he hasn't been blocking that back air or able to punish it as often as he would like. It's so safe and it's honestly really fast. Kind of have to give it respect. Slowly, this lead is uh, getting away from Rivers. Rivers in danger of losing his winter side career. Oh, oh but that neutral attack. Yep, go and down. that'll be all she wrote, man. Cosmos lose up 30 and a handshake. Rivers gave his best shot, man, even when Diddy, but unfortunately game, it wasn't Game enough. three was looking good. Yeah, game three was looking good. But unfortunately, taking a little too, many too much damage.